So compared to recently, I'm absolutely boiling right now. I'm still wearing all the layers that I had on when it was all icy. I don't need all these layers today. Whew. So I went out on my bike yesterday with Colin. On the way to Lumi's, I made this really good vlog. When I got to Lumi's, I realised my helmet cam wasn't even on. So that was good. Hey, it's Auntie's man again. Hey, mate. Yeah, so I made a really good vlog and um, it was completely pointless because the camera wasn't on and that's really quite an important part of making these videos is uh, having a camera on. Isn't it annoying when you know that you've talked a lot to a camera and you can't remember what you've said so that you can't, you can't do it again? <laughs> I'm always doing that. I'm like, I get home and I'm like, oh, I can't remember what I even talked about today. And then I watch the footage and then I do remember. It's amazing how much your brain forgets, isn't it, in such a short space of time. If it's not like proper important information, then it just gets rid of it. It's amazing. It's like some sort of auto, auto formatting. I also made a really long vlog, but not, it's not really long, but I did do quite a bit of chatting on Boxing Day and I completely forgot that I had that footage. So I might put that up. It is in my older helmet, so it's sort of doesn't make chronological sense if I put it up. Nah, I don't know. So yesterday was a fun ride and I need to remember to keep it down again today because today is Monday. Oh, I'm getting crap all over my helmet now. Oh, well done ground. Ah, oh, visibility's rubbish today. I was hoping we'd be able to see the ship that's like on its side in the Solent. It's a massive cargo ship full of cars cargo ship full of cars and it's on its side on a sandbank in the Solent because it was gonna sink it started listing and they thought it was gonna sink so they deliberately drove it into a sandbank and like wedged it there uh, yeah maybe now I'm just gonna go this way so I need to go in fuck me how slow are you going I did see that car coming out of that junction, I was looking for it, and which is why I pulled in just before the scooter. It's a bit of a blind junction that one, cars are just like, oh it's clear, I'll oh, go! And they don't really look properly. That's because it sort of leans back, doesn't it? Any junction that leans back, cars like to do that. Just because they want to get out of it as quickly as possible. This guy's got tape all over his bumper. Can you see that? I'll get close so you can see. Yeah! get away from that car it might like fall apart in the road in front of me yeah look, visibility today absolutely rubbish I think if I got crap on the camera as well let's, let's give you a clean how's that Is that better I might have just smeared it everywhere it's probably because of all the salt that they've put on the roads oh my poor bike <laughs> salt everywhere making a rusty she is protected by that ACF 50 though, like pretty much all over. And I'm hoping that the layer of crap over the top of the layer of ACF 50 will help protect her and make her not rusty. I think I am being a bit optimistic though, because it's, it's very dirty at the moment, my bike. I bet they don't know that their lights out. Wouldn't it be great if we could have like signs on our back that lit up with little messages that we could like pre-program? Like, one of your lights is out, or your tyre is flat. So as you go past, you can flash this message up, and they'll be like, oh, oh, okay. And, like, take it to a garage or something. I know, it'd be, like, distracting. And I'm sure people would abuse the technology and put swearing on it. And stuff. I think it would be useful. Maybe I should patent it. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. It's probably already been thought of, and people have thought, and how the shit, shit I did.